Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Van Helsing on PC using console controls. I wanted to point something out to all of you. You see the thing underneath exit? I found out what that does. I cannot use it on console controls, but on PC controls, what it does is in the background, you see those gears? It speeds and slows those up or down. Which I thought was pretty cool that they added that small little detail to this screen. So I wanted to point that out because that's pretty cool. That the devs added that small little detail into the game. So let's go ahead and jump in. And I am also using a semi-new chair to me. It is used. It's my neighbor, my um former neighbor's chair. So I am gonna try to get used to it. So if my um if I suck today, that's why. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I have noticed the past couple of days that um, either my other chair that I normally sit in or my pants that I wear have been hurting my leg. So I want to see if it's my chair. And if it is my chair, that's not a big deal. Because I've had my chair for going on eight years or more now, so... If it means I gotta buy a new chair, no big deal. Like, I don't care. I will do that eventually. Even if I can get a couple of of, you know, years off of this one and now, that's what I will do. I don't have my specters out yet either. There they are. There's my helpers. And actually, my headphone volume is a bit too loud. There we go, that's better. How about... Right there. There we go, I think that's better. No, I think it's the same on my end. Uh, it's just like, you know, you do this. How's that? Let's try that now. That seems better, I think. Anyway, and also, um, don't forget to, um, subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more content if you guys do enjoy the content. It will help my channel grow. It will allow you guys to see more of my videos. I still need to turn this down. Good lord, I can barely hear myself. That's too low now. Okay, how about right there? <clears throat> and then we'll also get my channel out there to other people to hopefully enjoy my content. So yeah. Also, I'm not gonna, you know, force you all to subscribe by throwing anything in your face 
or whatever. I don't condone that at all. I do not condone any frills on the screen or whatever. My channel is nothing but strictly gameplay. Think of my channel as like me doing a live stream, like on Twitch, but with no chat interaction at all. That's my channel. You get all of the raw footage, no editing, none of that crap. So, that is my channel. I need to find... The other way up there. Am I in the... I'm in the second one. Okay, cool. Okay. I thought I had to start all over again. Back to my story. There were tensions between Irina and me. The quarrels of the good twin and the bad twin. When I heard the whispers that on our birthday, my family would throw a ball in honor of her, her only, my wrath knew no bounds. I was an unbearable monster then. Can you imagine that? I can't even picture you brimming with furious anger. And that was what led to the most despicable decisions of my mortal life. You couldn't imagine her as a horrible monster. Look at her now. Ain't she pretty? Ain't I really must hear beautiful. the rest of your story. What happened on that fateful evening? I decided that only I deserved that special occasion, and Irina didn't. My plan was simple and cruel. I gave her a potion that put her to sleep. Then I slipped into her beautiful dress and went to the ball instead of her. Did your family realized they had been tricked and punished you? It was worse than that. They didn't even notice I wasn't Irina. I really don't like where this tale is going. Nice. Alright, I need to try to get comfortable in this chair because, like I said, it is a new chair, so bear with me. I guess not. And pull my shirt tail down because, yes. Oh, Lord. I actually might have to... Hmm. Trying to think. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try that. Raise my monitor up some here if I can get it to go up. And there. Let's try that. Ooh, that's probably a bit too high. We'll see, though. Who, who knows? Yeah, that might be too high, but we will see. I'll give it a bit, and if it is, I will try to lower it a bit. Oh, I leveled up. Does it really matter though? I mean, I guess I could go for more mana. What's the point? It's only four. <laughs> so let's go for more damage. Why not? Yeah. No, it's only two. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're the end game. Who cares? And then our skills. What do we want for our skills, if anything? Honestly, I could try this, but I would have to resummon them. Actually, 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 actually. 
attracts the attention of <gasps> oh do they explode does it actually get rid of the seeker minds though do I have to respawn them Your seeker minds attract the attention of as many enemies as possible for three seconds, then explode within three meters of each. See, oh my god. Does it actually get rid of them though? Do I have to respawn them? The mana cost is... Mm. Targets are stunned. Area of effect or damage. Oh, okay. So it does get rid of them. Oh, crap. On a cracker, it does. Minimum skill level required is two. Each kill generates plus one rage. So if I did this, I would have to get rid of this. Oh, I so want to try it though. But it, oh man, it takes rage. And so does this. Oh my God. <clears throat> Is there not a way? No, that's the wrong one. Yeah, is there not a way to make this cast on its own? Finish combo, link, okay. Oh, I so want to try it. I so want to try this. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, I actually might get rid of this one. And then just go full Hammer Town on that one instead. Mmm. Deal. Because it's only 40 health. And then 1% of my health whenever I kill enemies. That's not going to do much for me at all. I'm sorry. It's just not. So, <sighs> I miss being points. on the road, you know. Unlearn all of this. Done. This one. Learn all of this one, please. And then, bingo is, is his name. -o. So is that a 30% chance then? It's not saying it is though. Dude, it takes that much. Oh my God. Oh my God. Targets are ignited. Are afflicted with 5% vulnerability. I don't need that. I have enough vulnerability. Each kill generates plus one rage. S 
screw it, I'll need it. I will need it. Accept, accept. <clears throat> We're gonna do it. Let's see how it works. All right. Deep ink, back to here. Okay, now we need to get our minds back up. That's the only issue with this build is we need our minds. <laughs> okay, they actually run to it. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna work wonders on the boss. <laughs> that's going to work wonders on the boss. <laughs> More mana. Don't have enough mana. Wait, do I have some? Wait, wait, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have some. Oh, I had some. Oh. So okay, it's a. Uh, okay, yeah. How is it ex No No Is it really I think it is I think it's exploding her um her spectral um things. And if that's the case, that is amazing. The only downside is I lose these um, the debuff for a how long? How long is the cooldown on this? Uh. A minute thirty. Ouch. That hurts. So only use it on bosses. No, we're not going that way. Uh, we didn't go. To, we didn't go down. Yeah. So only use that on bosses. It's like a, hey, you're gonna die or whatever, type thing. So, yeah. And then use the vulnerability for. Majority of the boss fight. Can't or you won't do that. Yeah, not necessary.
know what? Okay, so it's not that strong. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it then. Fair enough. Yep, fair enough. Okay, we're gonna go back. I thought it would do way more damage than 300. So, yeah, that didn't do anything to those guys at all. So, now we know. I bet this maze is full of secret treasures. Goodbye. Um, what do I want? Fuck that. There's always enemies near me. When standing still for three seconds. Ten percent more damage. Plus a hundred percent slow stun freeze shock. God, dude, that is nasty. And then we have oh, that was all stun. Oh, that was all of those. To have a 10% chance to last twice as long? 10% more damage. Oh, score. And twice as long. You know what? Let's roll with this. Screw it. Why not? So this is a, um, a slow effect. Because ice. So our ice ability... The targets are slowed by 30% for 2 seconds normally, but with this, it's now 130% on top of a possible 10% to last for twice as long, so 230%. No, twice as long to last, okay, so 4 seconds. And then I deal 10% more damage. Yeah, this is going to be better for our build. It's more damage output. Yeah, this is better for us. Now we gotta walk all the way back through. Hot damn. But it's worth it. We tried the mines out. They didn't work. Who cares? It's just a game. We wasted money, sure, but... What money? <clears throat> I see the difference in my damage. I don't really need the mines anymore. Okay. And... This chair is not working. I'm sorry. I can't do it. It's hurting my back too much. Give me a moment. This chair is hurting my back too much. I can't do it. Okay, push the monitor back down. Okay. I would rather deal with my leg hurting than my back hurting or my neck hurting. So yeah, this, no. This one ain't it. Yeah, that one ain't it, I'm sorry. Nope. Make sure my chair is up all the way as it is. Perfect. Oh.
I don't even insist up higher, but the arms are not as high. Weird. Oh. No more back hurt. Good lord. Okay. Sorry about that. I just I could not take the back pain anymore. Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, now I need to put my arms down. Haha. <laughs> Score. Yep, I'm gonna use the eight year old chair. And deal with the leg pain. Cool. Alright. Again, I apologize for that, but if you don't like the fact that I did that in my video, I'm sorry. Again, this is a non edited video, and I don't know how to edit videos, and nor do I want to learn because I don't have the patience for that crap. Oh, this is so much better, so much more comfortable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. My back's still sore, but it's not ass sore. Oh my goodness. I wanted that kill, you dirty monster. Did she dodge those or did he dodge those? I think she dodge those. Hey, I want this kill. Damn it. You know you're pretty sad at, um, you're pretty weak whenever you only do 200 and she does a thousand. That's why we built her as a tank. We're the squishy butthole, she's our tank. Yeah. <laughs> Slaughter them all. <laughs> Slaughter them all. <laughs> Slaughter them all. Uh oh. Oh wait, I don't care to sing Diablo. Maybe it is Diablo. Okay, maybe I'm made a mistake. I know that vote up. It does not matter. Oh wait, it kind of does actually. Uh, more damage. Oh wait. Oh, see that vote up. My bad. I'm gonna get you more. Sure. <clears throat> and then, you know, these ones weren't really worth going for, but... Yeah, I might race back her and get rid of these ones. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, they weren't worth it. I thought they'd be worth it. Sorry about all this nonsense, but... Eh. I wish I could explore these tunnels. Reset. Okay. Come all my goody gumdrops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. So I want to go down to 66. And then this one on the 36. And then this one down to six. And then this one, one, two, three, one, two, three, done. And then I want one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. No, it was on, it was on three. One, two, three, and let's just do, yeah, no, let's get like one more in this. Let's get like five in this one, and let's get like five here, because yes. Nothing here. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. None here. I could care less about this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, her highest attribute, five percent, is converted. So her highest attribute would be. Her health. <clears throat> Let's take Oh, I can't do it anymore. Okay. <clears throat> I mean it's only five percent. Yeah, it's not really worth it at all. It's not worth it. And then I have a few more, which I can put over to here. Sure. Yes. Yes, make her more of a tank. 96%. Oh my lord, dude. Um... Oh, let's just like do that then. Screw it, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I tell what her critical hit chance is? Probably not. Okay, cool. We got some critical hit bonus right now. Let's do it. Yeah, so it is definitely my chair. I sort of my leg. Like, cool. Now I know. Time for a new chair. Awesome. But I can't afford one, so you know what? Whatever. I'll deal with it. My old squeaky chair. Good lord. Alright. I was hoping to finish this chapter in this video, but with all the stuff I've been doing, trying out a new chair and a back and forth, it ain't gonna happen, but you know what? I don't give a crap. What's in the box? Money! Yeah, you know what? I kinda need to kill you. So I want some more rage. What's in the box? Put on a cracker is what it is. <clears throat> okay, so that critical hit chance is not doing anything for her. Or is it for me, actually? Hold up now. Hold up now. I'm curious. Is it for her? No, it's yeah, for her. Okay. I was gonna say if it was for me, that'd be freaking sweet, but no. All right. I'm hot. He sees down to 72. Good lord. Oh, I know why. It's my shirt when I'm hot. That's why. This shirt always makes me hot. That explains it. Really, that's it? Okay, well, that was a waste. Oh, I can finally do this. So, oh, look what I can do. Look what I can do. <clears throat> What's in the box? Oh wait, money! Oh yeah, my neck is extremely sore from that chair. Oh my god, dude. Oh. 
And they stiff. Good lord. Why? Damn, that hurts. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll deal with it. I shall deal with the pain in my neck because I made a dumb mistake. Live and learn with mistakes. That's called life. And life is a video game. If you guys, if you guys have not seen that video, oh, you should. It, it explains everything. It explains everything about life. The time you're in school is Tutorial Island. After that, the actual game begins. I sense something magical around here. Yeah, and I think I just saw it. Never mind. Hidden content found. Oh! Wow, I didn't know this was here. More than money, please. Oh, look at that. A rifle and a bolt caster. And a... Okay, nothing good. Cool. Ho, ho, ho. I'm going to look away from this. I heard something. Crap on a cracker, that's what that is. I heard crap on a cracker. Thanks, game. I love getting crap on a cracker. I really do. It means a lot. Hold by my neck. Damn, my neck is so stiff right now. Good lord. No, we're not doing this. I didn't know was that it wasn't for Irina or me. It was to be a celebration for the Faceless One, including a grand sacrifice. Your evil family wanted to sacrifice the innocent Irina to their dark god. Indeed. It's terrible, isn't it? My family was a nest of monsters. I wasn't any better than them, but we all paid the price. Yes. We all did. Hmm. And now I gotta re-summon my drones. You're dead. If you do a remake of this game, or a remaster, which doesn't need a remaster, honestly. Or if you ever update this game, please fix the freaking secret mines so they never go away. Because it strictly says, remains indefinitely. They're gone. Where are they? 
remains indefinitely my butthole. What are they, devs? I mean, I'm being honest right now. What are they? Oh, there they are. I had to respawn them. No. Their effect strictly says remains indefinitely. Just throwing you a clue. That's all. Great game, by the way. Just found a flaw in your game. So you made a pact with my father to Only get one away flaw. from here. That's it. Yes. He didn't trust me for obvious reasons. So he crafted the magical oath that binds me to your family. And that's all you need to know. You should have told me this a long time ago. I didn't want your pity. I still don't. But you were right. You have the right to know about this. I'll skip the emotional monologue. But I'll be there during your family reunion. Believe me, wow. I need my protection more. Look what I can do! Oh, she finally hit a critical hit. Nice. Well, well. It's been a while, little sister. Fate plays cruel jokes on us. Here you are, the lapdog for the warrior of light, repenting for your sins. And here I am. Once an innocent soul, now the acolyte of darkness. All thanks to you. Would you believe me if I told you that I was sorry? Of course not. You are just playing tricks with me. What a hypocrite you are. Have you ever told your mortal master about the terrible deeds our family has done? It wouldn't have been very ladylike. <laughs> Still the witty one, I see. Notice, Hunter. During our reign of blood, hundreds and thousands perished to please our protector, Kushai, the Deathless. Why would you turn against him now, sister? You are insane. Koshai never existed. He was just a myth, a legendary magician. An excuse for our family to revel in violence. That's so sweet. You really believe your childish nonsense? How could you be so blind? How could you not recognize the one behind the mask? And now you are playing tricks with me. I won't fall for this, sister. Enough. I don't care who he is. You can call him Prisoner Seven, the Faceless Tsar, or the Deathless One. Whatever his name, I will destroy him. But not before I seal these tombs again. Holy cheese doodles in a handbasket. I have money game. And what a crappy spawn point is this too. Not possible. But at least she does not get her health back on like some bosses. 
and video games. Not all video games do it, but the ones that do, screw you too. I can't get in there, can I? No, I can't. I can't get in there because of the barriers. Just going to not get hit by that, please. What happened? All the darkness I carried around with me just fell away. I'm floating away, away from this terrible place. I'm so sorry, Irina. I really am. Don't be. It's good to be free again, even if it takes me somewhere else. But for you, it's not over yet. My parting gift is a door to the heart of the ink. Go to the spectral provinces. That's the source of the dark disturbance in the ink. You might even find a way to the faceless Tsar. Thank you, sister. It's such a shame that we must part like this. One last thing before I go, Katarina. Do you remember my pony? The one I stole from you? When I made you so angry? I won't lift that curse. You'll never have a pony again. Sorry. Oh, you just had to ruin it, didn't you? The ink gate to the spectral provinces is open, but when my sister passed away, I felt another gate opening nearby. Maybe we should investigate. And I can smell a familiar stench. There are vampires here. Well, maybe we did finish this chapter before I finished the video. Nice. And then we got a... <laughs> I ain't using this crap. Wait, no. How do I drop this? L. Okay. <clears throat> nope, wrong one. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh, that defense bonus. Okay. I mean, I mean, I kind of have to put this on now because of the defense. I kind of have to. Where does your health go down to, though? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What is it normally? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, yeah, I'll put it on because of how much defense it has on it. And the um, respawn time as well. That will help quite a bit, actually. Oh, that's why. Alright, we're on chapter, what, 10, I think, now? Yeah, 10. We're on 10 now. Cool, all right. Can't go that way. Sp 
Spectral Provinces, and that is a... Enter the Spectral Provinces. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, this area. Okay, yeah. A rescue party. Franz von Sturm, Chief Scientific Officer of the First Borgovian Void Expedition, reporting for duty. Our airship crashed here a decade ago. So, you're right on time. Bad news then. Fulmigati is dead. We are not your rescue party. And you must explain what is happening here. Efficient and practical. I like that. There is a dark presence in the Void, which is trying to use the reality-shaping abilities of the Ink for its own nefarious purposes. I know. Borgovia is changing back to the way it used to be. Excellent. I mean, it's horrible, but it fits my theory, which I base purely on scientific observation since the Faceless One began using our clockwork heap. I suspected that he's rewriting the world. What are you talking about? We built four ethereal transmitters in these provinces to send signals home. They didn't work. The locals call them ink grubs, which is annoying. Anyway... The Faceless Ones use them to amplify the power of the ink. Think of magnifying lenses and sunlight. If I destroy the ink grubs, will it revert the changes? Of course not. But you will prevent Borgovia from changing further back to its old form. Or falling apart entirely. We have one... Um, ink grub here. So you can start with that. I'll be in touch. Alright, and with that... I am going to. Okay, so no levels there. Cool. With that, I am going to put a cut in the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.